Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. The poem is entitled Unity. Khalil Gibran, the Lebanese poet, wrote, human beings separate into factions and tribes and adhere to countries and regions, whereas I see my essence as far into any one land and alien to any single people. The entire earth is my homeland and the human family is my clan. For I have found human beings to be weak, and it is small-minded for them to divide themselves up. The earth is cramped so that only ignorance leads people to partition it into realms and principalities. I am saddened and dismayed that our society is in disarray. We are so divided and secular when the truth is so evident and clear. We are all one humanity, indeed God said. Do not become divided. Why is this widespread? We are so focused on differences. We cannot mend our fences. If you choose to do something different, fine. This is no reason to draw up a line. You are this, I am that, wrong and right. Give up this hatred, let go of spite. Look back at the very start where no great differences set apart. Cain and Abel, two brothers, and yet one killed the other, then was filled with regret. And we, we are all one brotherhood, so let go of those differences. Let go. If your brother does something you would not, don't turn your back or loosen the knot. God has said, do not become divided. So I'm asking you to hold together. Woe, woe to those who call one another names, point, judge, and shout out blames. Imagine all religions like a house. Tall, we ourselves are tearing down each wall, each brick we label and throw away. It will fall apart one day. Take a minute and just think. Really let this message sink in. We should often recite and say the names of God each day. Why then are people not aware of the prophet's words? Don't we care? He said, all mankind is from Adam and Eve. He said, an Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor a non-Arab has any superiority over an Arab. He said, a white has no superiority over a black, nor a black has any superiority over a white, except by piety and good action. He said, every Muslim is a brother to every Muslim and that the Muslims constitute one brotherhood. Learn of the Prophet in his life too. Wake up, refresh your knowledge anew. I pray our faith, our way of life is put first. Instead of lust for hatred, a raging thirst. Let it be quenched with brotherhood. Save us from drowning in this hateful flood. There has never been a Prophet who has encouraged divisions. You too should follow this way and hold tight to your brothers in faith. End this fight. Let me remind you of this Quranic verse to end this disunity curse. And hold fast all together by the rope which God stretches out for you. And be not divided among yourselves. And remember with gratitude God's favor on you. For you were enemies and he joined your hearts in love. So that by his grace you became brothers. I begin with Gibran and I end with his golden words. I love you when you bow in your mosque, kneel in your, kneel in your temple, pray in your church. For you and I are sons of one religion, and it is the spirit. The leaders of the branches of this religion are like fingers of the hand of divinity, which point to the perfection of the soul. Thank you.